backed by popular demand this week, more legislative proposals making their way through the General Assembly. Now, sure, deep water winds, same-sex divorce, the budget, they're all grabbing the headlines. But this week, we take a look at some other bills that are still flying under the public's radar. Two weeks ago, nearly four months after the session began, both the House and Senate filed nine separate bills under the heading, an act making it easier to do business in Rhode Island. From the fire safety code to simultaneous licensing, small business representation on the EDC and a fast start office, it all sounds good. But every politician now seemingly wants to hug a small businessman. Fellas, where have you been the last 20 years? Also under the heading of let's not rush into anything, a House commission was appointed three years ago to study regionalizing the school system here on Aquidneck Island. So my questions, why weren't we doing this in 1975? And why do they need another six months to complete the study? It took less time to build the Newport Bridge. We all know the government is having to do a lot more with a lot less these days. So why should the town of Warren be able to start charging a fee for criminal background checks on daycare workers? I like to call it a la carte government. But watch out when the bill says a community can charge a quote, reasonable fee. What government and the people who pay for it feel is reasonable may be two very different things. Here's another head scratcher a bill mandating that any driver of a motor vehicle be at least three feet away when passing a bicyclist, or slow down to 10 miles an hour under the posted speed limit. Now who in the world is going to enforce that one? If one lawmaker's bill passes, you'll soon be able to have a free beer and wine tasting at your local package store. With limits on consumption, of course, but how's this for a companion bill? You'll also be able to sample the hard stuff. Which means when you go to buy your alcohol, you get a shot and a chaser. Beware when lawmakers say they're holding the line on your taxes. Now that may be true for income or sales tax, but there's legislation pending that would slap a 20% surcharge on sugar sweetened beverages. So my question is, are they looking out for our health or trying to balance the budget one soda at a time? Now this one makes entirely too much sense. It would require the taxpayer checkoff. You know, the one that goes for the Olympics, for drug programs, save the whales, to go into an actual separate account and be used for what it says it is. Instead of going into the general fund and being used for whatever the legislators want, as it has for the past 15 years. Of course, the main focus over the next month will be trying to balance the budget. No easy task this year. Then the House and the Senate will rush to adjourn, passing 400 bills the last night. My favorite part? The next three months it'll take all of us to figure out exactly what it is they did. In Providence, Jim Hummel for the Hummel Report.